Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warren Show, and happy Father's Day to you fathers out there. This is Father's Day edition, and I have a League of Fire challenge to do for it. So, um, before I get into it and explain it, I'll read the League of Fire disclaimer as I always do, so I can get credit here. I'm Mr. Brad Warren, I'm 18 years of age, with a sound mind, I've read and understood the hot sauce product disclaimer on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept that the League of Fire, their suppliers, manufacturers will under no circumstances be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from me consuming this product or multiples thereof. I now to agree to this without question. So this is a League of Fire challenge. It's one that you maybe would like to try at home. Maybe. It's worth one point per bar. I have two bars here available for me. Well, one point, so this might be like a gateway in the League of Fire. However, to get through it, you must consume the entire bar. There is no wait time on this one, which makes it a little bit easier. So you can try and get the bar down and go for your milk or whatever you want afterward. Um, it is small, but not like the mold and some of the other ones I've eaten. But it does have 12 of the hottest peppers in the world in. So it is extreme, going to be extremely spicy. This product is by the um, Fuego Spice Company. It's called the Choco Challenge. They also have their own personal website where you can um, put in and, and um, send the challenge to that um, website as well. I'll be sending mine off to League of Fire too. It's called White Lightning. It says white chocolate food fused with 12 of the world's hottest peppers. So I have two bars. I'm going to try them out. I'll wait a little bit after. There's no official wait time, but I'll kind of let you know what the burn's like on these. So let's crack the seal on some of these. Okay. So we have it all. Um, oh, yeah. I also want to say that this company, um, they donate the proceeds to this to Feeding America to end hunger. It says each bar you buy actually um, buys 50 meals worth of food. Um, and they donate it when you purchase that. So this company donates uh, meals every time you buy a challenge. So not only do you get a nice, easy challenge worth one point, but uh, they donate the food to the end hunger um, and Feeding America. So um, that's also kind of cool too, Feeding America on one side and then the end hunger label on the other side. So here's the, here's the bar and the wrapper. Obviously it's not very big. A little over inch. It's got the skull label on it. I may as well crack this one right away too. So I have them on hand. Same thing in this one. It says, you must be insane to consume this pain. So there's, like I said, no, no timer to eat it. No wait time. Um, you just crack them open and eat them and see how hot it is. So that's what I'll find out. I haven't done this one before, so we'll find out how hot it is. One point per bar, so I should be getting two points for this if I can get them. Here it is. It looks similar to the mold I ate the other day, but kind of see some peppers infused in there. It's white chocolate. Um, and you can see the peppers infused in there if you look carefully. But All right, so here we go. Tastes pretty good. It's got that white chocolate, but the peppers are kicking in. <clears throat> I like the flavor. Um, tastes similar to the mold white chocolate I had the other day. It's probably hotter. Mm. Flavor is very similar. It's building. wasn't super bad at first, but it's gradually building now. So, I'm going to eat bar two. Once I get done with bar two, I might wait a minute or two just so the heat level can progress to its height so I can let you know exactly what I think of the heat on these. So, it's bar two. <coughs>
I do like the flavor. The heat may have peaked, I'm not sure. Um, I'll let you know, I'll finish and let you know. All that. Um, it's hot, don't get me wrong. Um, the average person, maybe like a nine ish, I wouldn't even necessarily maybe even say a 10. Maybe like nine for an average person. And um, Chili had maybe like a two to three. So obviously, these bars were one point each. Um, if you want to try and get a lead of fire, I said before. Pocky chips are way in. They're not quite as hot as some of the products, but it's hard to get these. <coughs> these ones, you can get online for probably about 10 to $15. And, um, I mean, that's a little bit a lot for a chocolate bar, but it is a challenge item. And they do donate the proceeds of it, again, to uh, feeding hunger and donating meals. So it's for a good cause. So, um, if you want to get in the League of Fire for one point, it might be something you want to try. I don't know if it's really way too hot for you. Because I was trying down on the bar really fast and um, get some milk or ice cream or whatever you want to go for afterward. But um, for me, it wasn't too bad. It actually tasted pretty good. I actually enjoyed that one. Um, but again, it's a Fuego Spice Company. They have their website you can check them out on there um there are a few other websites you can buy it from <clears throat> this is a choco challenge that's what they call it there are two versions this is a newer version second version called white lightning there wasn't an original version i think just regular regular chocolate i'm not sure i've never tried that one i might have to look into that but this is the one for uh 2021 the newest edition so I finished both bars, um, kind of talked about it. The heat's pretty steady now. It kind of built to the highest, I would say. Again, like a nine-ish for an average person. Um, and a two, two borderline three, maybe for a chili head, but it's not, it's really pretty tolerable. All right, so anyway, um, keep updated for new posts, new videos. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't yet and you're watching at home. And for all of you fathers out there, have a happy Father's Day again, and we will see you next time on the Mr. Bread Warden Show.